Hello my gamers and tax evaders alike. Have you ever wanted to commit tax evasion? Well, today I'm going to explain some of the ways that you, the viewer, can commit tax evasion. However, my lawyer has informed me that I should make a statement before beginning this video. So I have a couple of notes prepared. The Your Selfie Got Leaked YouTube channel in no way condones tax evasion. Tax fraud is a federal crime, and if you are caught, you will face the maximum penalty of the law. That being said, here are some ways that could legally work to help you pay less in your federal taxes. There, there wasn't anything on those on those note cards. So if you're trying to commit tax evasion, there's a couple of things that you're gonna wanna keep in mind. Number one, don't do this if you suck at math. You got to be good at math. That's the only way that you're going to be able to get away with this because the people at the IRS are fucking math nerds. They know their shit. Another thing to keep in mind is to be consistent. If you make $100,000 one year and then make 30000 the next year, that doesn't make any sense if you didn't have a change of job. Why did you suddenly lose $70,000 in income? That's how you get yourself audited. Don't be stupid. Keep these in mind. All that being said, one of the ways that you could actually evade taxes is by not reporting income, which is basically what I just said. Uh, if you make $50,000 a year, you say that you made 30000 or something like that. That way you pay less in taxes, right? No, you're going to get caught if you do that. Don't do that. That That is one way to do it, but... You're, you're gonna get caught. Dude, the IRS ain't fucking stupid. Now, a little something that the ultra-rich like to do is send money overseas, and I'm sure that everybody who is watching has heard of this concept before. What it essentially means is that you register your business in a different country that has a lower corporate tax rate than your own. For example, in the US, we have a corporate tax rate of something like 20, 25, maybe 30%. It's pretty damn high. But you go to other countries, like let's say Taiwan or Jersey, you know, and for maybe us Americans, Americans, there'd be like Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama, Cayman Islands, Liechtenstein, Malta. Those are all countries that have much lower corporate tax rates than some of the other countries of Europe, Asia, and the Americas. That isn't to say that this is going to be the easiest thing for you to do. In fact, this is really only going to work if you already have a lot of money because then you have to get connections in the country and you have to be keeping track of two separate... Ta you're going to need a lot of accountants, tax people. You're, you're already going to want to be wealthy to be able to do this. Now, part of setting up in a tax haven country would be setting up a shell company. These are are companies that literally only exist to funnel money through and there's fucking probably millions of them I wouldn't be surprised the point of it is to exist solely as a way that you can run money into it and run money out of it they might sell a couple of products but usually they don't sell any they probably have very few employees and basically they exist so that you can do buying and selling and just kind of uh, running income and shit through it that way you get to report that off. Again, sadly, this is only for rich people. If you are like me and not rich, this this isn't gonna be the best strategy for you. You're gonna find a running theme here is that the best way to evade taxes is to already have lots and lots of money. But that being said, there are ways to evade taxes if you don't have a lot of money. There's definitely ways to do it. But that isn't really tax evasion. It's mostly working within the system to pay as few taxes as possible. Another thing for rich people is becoming a corporation. I mean, if you're making good money, this is what you're gonna want to do. Basically, you just say, I'm I'm Jake, I'm the Jake Corp, you know, and so I'm gonna claim all of my expenses, anything that I spend on a day-to-day -day basis, that's an expense on my company as as me as a person. This, uh, you know, this will reduce your income taxes, uh, you can pay yourself a wage. Apparently Mitt Romney did this by claiming that the management fee of his corporation was a capital gain rather than income, so that way it kind of reduces his his taxes. Like, I think what he does is he takes his income, he funnels it into the company, you know what I mean? The company's making money, and then he pays himself a wage, which is the management fee, and that is recorded as a capital gain, which I don't, how the fuck do you get away with that? Another thing for the ultra rich is to give money away. Now that sounds like a pretty stupid idea if you're trying to save money, but there's, it, there's a way that it works, okay? Have you ever seen those art auctions where they put up like the most awful, disgusting, horrible paintings ever to have graced the earth and they somehow sell for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars? Yeah, that's that's a way to, that's a way to write off taxes right there. You know the ones I'm talking about too. They put up like a white fucking canvas with a couple of specks of red on it and they're like, yes, this is 
my my period blood on the kitchen floor. A hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars for this painting. Anyway, let's say that you buy a painting for a thousand dollars. You hold on to it for a couple of years, and then you go and you get it appraised a couple of years later. You slide a little money to the person appraising it, and boom, that painting is now worth ten thousand dollars. And then you can take that painting that's now worth ten thousand dollars and give it off to some charity or like a museum or say it really doesn't matter as long as you can legally write it off as a donation on your taxes that way you can now take that ten thousand dollars and boom that's a tax deduction right there you're paying ten thousand less in taxes that year for the price of a thousand dollars you're basically printing fucking money at this point i think from what i was reading that this one does have a downside is that it has a cap of thirteen thousand dollars so you can only do this up to thirteen thousand dollars and then you have to start paying taxes on it again but the thing that i saw said that this doesn't apply for spouses so if you're married you can give infinite gifts to the person you're married to and then write that all off as like a tax deduction so keep that in mind married people but tax deductions are like the main way for the people who aren't ultra wealthy to evade as much tax paying as they can if you're going to college stuff that you pay for in college like books or or classes or literally anything you know housing that can all be dedu reduced deducted from your taxes if you have any children they're a tax deduction just start pumping the fucking babies out if you are employed and you have a 401k that you pay into the money that you put into the 401k tax deduction there are literally fucking hundreds if not thousands of tax deductions you just gotta look through the tax code a little bit and be like oh shit i i basically don't have to pay anything i had a lot of trouble researching this video because the people that actually commit tax fraud and get away with it uh, they they don't like to go online and explain how they're doing it for fucking obvious reasons also another reason that made it so difficult to research this is that the IRS is really, 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 really good at what they do. Like, they're fucking efficient. They will fucking catch you if you're if you're not paying your taxes so goddamn easily. Again, I would like to reiterate, I do not condone committing tax evasion. Tax evasion is a federal crime that can land you many years in jail. You should not commit tax evasion. It's bad. And with that, I leave you. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like or whatever. It's up to you. I don't care. Goodbye.